to take you to a very interesting house tonight. Uh, artists are, of course, by nature, creative and individualistic. In tonight's life stories, what happens when two artists are a couple? This is what happens. It just looks like an artist's house. The metal sculpture, the elaborate front door. It looks this way because it is an artist's house, or more accurately, two artists. Jeffrey Laudenschlager works in metal, Deanne Sabeck works in glass. They didn't have to buy their furniture or artwork, they made it. I think we're, uh, we're both uh, the better artists for uh, the collaborative things that we have done. And they both found out early on that glass and metal work very well together. Even though metal was his focus, he was using glass. And I, even though glass is my focus, I always use metal in my work. So in this combination home and art gallery, who has the last word on taste? Deanne has the last word. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, not always, no. Actually, color is Deanne's area. The reflections of her glass are all over the home, and they change with the light. Jeffrey is about structure, shape, and form, and his work moves with the wind. Naturally, since they're both artists, they critique each other's work. Mm -hmm. Constantly. <laughs> Sometimes cruelly. <laughs> The artist's touch is everywhere. Deanne's glass embedded in the concrete walkway. Jeffrey's metal shining in the sun. And some of the art is practical as well as attractive. This balcony here is a Jeffrey creation. And with all they've done, the house is most definitely not done. No. <laughs> a work in progress. There's always things that um, need to be done still, and then there's always things that are constantly changing. After all, art is always evolving and changing, and so it is here in Encinitas, where the house is a work of art. And the Ant Studio is one of many that will be open this weekend as part of the Open Studios program. More than 50 local artists will open their studios to the public. You can buy a catalog, which is also a ticket for two, at all Barnes & Noble bookstore stores. Cost 20 bucks, and proceeds go to an art program for at-risk teenagers. Phew. Work in progress. Beautiful. Probably the last thing you'd expect to find amid the scenery of the Cuyamaca Mountains is something like this. It's a sculpture, one of many in the yard of Jeff Loudenslag. <laughs> surprise of discovering this backcountry gallery, you realize that everything seems to belong here, right here. The wooden metal sculptures and their distinct designs complement the natural surroundings. They represent 10 years of work by a carpenter with no formal art or engineering training. His works, he says, may express feeling but are not confined to definition. As far as I'm concerned, these objects have a spirit. They have a spiritual nature as opposed to just being a physical object. So it's a normal response to my whole life consideration. And it's not something that I can I can't define a meaning. Yeah, you know, the objects have a meaning of their own, independent of my own thought process. Loudon Slager's works have been seen at shows up and down the West Coast and away from it too. But this is his favorite gallery, and the best show is right here for anyone to see. You know, I consider this a socially responsible sort of activity, but to me, you know, it has a definite meaning, and again, that meaning is difficult to define. said that art never expresses anything but itself. Jeff Lautenslager would agree with that. It's apparent in all that surrounds it. 